We're off to Ikea. Give me your wallet now. Oh my god, it's making me feel so sick. Comfy? Why does that one backwards? <laughs> I don't know, mate. You had a hard time. Well, welcome back to another video. First of all, welcome to the channel if you're new here. We're off to Ikea. So we need some bits for the house. I mean, you're only going to Ikea because you need bits in the house. I feel like that's a really crap sentence to state, yeah. obviously. I don't need anything. Why, why am I here? <laughs> Sean's here to carry my I'm stuff because of my foot. <laughs> yeah, why I'm trying. I carry last time. Like, I'll get you a it. McDonald's as a treat. We've been meaning to go for ages because we've actually got rid of the second bed in our second bedroom and we've put in like a desk type thing, haven't we, for me. It's my birthday in a few weeks and so we want to get some bits for outside. I'm hosting like a garden party um, just to get some glasses or something that I don't, I don't know. I don't know if Ikea sell like little plastic Prosecco sh like shoots, flutes. Said everything, don't Not I? shoots, flutes. Flutes or is it shoots? I think it's flutes. Prosecco shoot. <laughs> Flute, I mean. <laughs> Why do I keep saying shoot? Try and film a little bit when we're in there. But to be honest, I feel like with masks on, it's not going to be um, the clearest of convo. The KFC and McDonald's right next door. Yeah, but give them the lowdown of what we've actually had this week. Nah. <laughs> it's disgusting, isn't it? We had a big weekend. McDonald's breakfast. Did we have McDonald's twice? Yeah, what and a day? We actually could have done a 10,000 day challenge. Oh 10,000 calories 10, a day calorie. challenge. We should have done that. That Chinese must have been. I don't know. Must have been a couple of thousand hours. That's the thing with that, that you're never going to be able to, like, if you were to do that uh, that challenge and you were to eat a Chinese, you're never going to be able to tell, like, how much is really in it. Like, in it, yeah. With a regular Coke what? and some extra medium chips, please. Cheese bites, a bottle of water. A bottle of water. Large chip. Large chip. And a double cheeseburger, please. And a double cheeseburger, please. Everything. Yeah, perfect. Yeah. Thank you very much. Bye. Well, they're very confident here, aren't they? Just assume it's right. The other one. Check the screen. 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 They still got it wrong. <laughs> I can't believe they got it wrong. I nearly cried. Yeah, they're just, just like, hung over as well. Yeah, they're just like fucking get around here. Can have what you have. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> they throw it out the window. Take that, you bell in. <laughs> out of towners. Give me your, give me your wallet now. Have you got a wallet? <laughs> Like, I paid for the last three McDonald's, Sean. What? I'm... Yeah, exactly, Mr. Big Man. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. God, a oh, dust yeah. in the bats that just came out. Thank you very much. Thank, Thank you. you. So, red lorry, yellow lorry, red, red lorry, yellow lorry, red lorry, yellow lorry, red lorry, yellow lorry, red lorry, yellow lorry, red lorry, yellow lorry. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. Hi, <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very much. That's okay. Thank you. Here you go. Take yours then, Can we get some ketchup, please, as well? Sure. Thank oh, you very much. Is there ketchup in there? Yeah, so. There better be, Sandra. There better yeah. be. She might look more like a giant. What are we doing? <laughs> one large, one medium. Thank you. Da 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 da. Oh my god, it's making da, me feel da, so da, sick. Da, 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 da. Right, we're here. <laughs> Downstairs bathroom. I think it's like a plug in thing though. That's quite a good size as well, isn't it? It's not bad price either, 150 pounds. Yeah, so we're thinking like a reading chair of that kind of size. I think they're way too big though. Or maybe someone like that would be better. Go on then, test that one. Comfy. Second try of the day. Number one or number two? That's what I'm thinking, guys, for either side of my desk. Two of them. Got the measurements. 74 by 50. Lockdown belly. Very handsome. You're both matching as well on your browns. Oh, actually. Not sure. <laughs> <laughs> right, there's... Why does that one backwards? <laughs> I don't know, mate. You had a hard time. Oh, Get one of them. We need some more sort of storage space. <laughs> We are absolutely done in because we've been at work and then I've obviously come here in the evening and it's now, what time is it? Half seven? Half eight. Uh, half eight eight o'clock. <laughs> it's eight o'clock so yeah we've not done too bad but we're absolutely shattered so we're gonna go home 
and chill but I will do a haul for you guys tomorrow to show you what we got so I shall see you then Get ow! are you gonna let me do the haul please sit nicely then that's it sit nice like a good girl thank you <laughs> so guys it's now the following day and I thought I would do a little haul with you and show you guys what we got from Ikea so the first item we got were three chest of drawers which I can't physically show you because we've had to order it for delivery sorry Peppers here so I got the Alex drawers I will pop them on the screen here I got three of them with the idea that two of them are going to go either side of my office desk and then the other one is going to go in the downstairs storage cupboard that we have in the living room because at the moment we are using like a hairdressing trolley which is falling to bits it's all lopsided the drawers are just crap basically so we've ordered like a wooden one that's a bit more sturdy now the Alex drawers from Ikea are 55 pound they're very plain there's nothing crazy going on with them they're not an eyesore they're quite just a classic chest of drawers but they'll just be really really handy for us to have some extra storage which is fab so the next item we got was a clove dryer we do have one already but we just wanted one for a little bit more space we've needed another one of these for so long we just need that extra storage space we end up using the hell out of our radiators and again I'm not going to show this because it's absolutely huge and it makes loads of noise so I will pop that on the screen for you here so the next item I got was this little basket when I say little it's pretty big this is the basket called ragcorn weird name and we bought this because we're actually going to use it for a plant that we've bought in the hallway if you're a regular subscriber on my channel then you might have heard me say that i can't keep plants alive and it is very very true the only real plants are currently in this shop i just can't do it i don't know why and we bought a really nice plant for in the hallway we spent like 80 quid on this plant and it's just died a death so we bought this fake one which is very very big i'm gonna have to like tilt it down like this because it's so big that's the base of it and we're gonna put this in the basket that we've just bought in the hope that it's gonna look nice only issue is this pot is much smaller than this basket it's absolutely massive it's nearly the size of our ceiling we didn't notice how big it was until we brought it in the hallway or try getting it in the car which was a whole other story so yeah really pleased with that okay so moving on to more householdy items that we've got in the bag so i'm really sorry peppers deciding to stay with me for this entire video so we bought ourselves a little sieve we don't have one of these in our house we have like the two big normal like potato colanders just bought one of these because i feel like whenever i'm using the colanders i never have something else to like just drain peas or carrots or veg and stuff that we're doing so that's always going to come in handy now another item i got was something for my desk which i am going to do a whole other video on i'm in the process of trying to sort that space out at the moment because it's just the bane of my life right now but this basically goes on to the desk and then you put your laptop on top and then it creates you an extra bit of storage space underneath which is really really clever i'm kind of going for like a white and bamboo kind of color upstairs this is called the sig fin and i think this was 20 pound but i will put all the prices on the screen for you guys so you can see i've seen loads of these in like youtube videos for renovating desks and i never really thought about it but this is kind of perfect for my desk because my desk isn't the deepest it's very wide but it's not the deepest amount of space so this is quite clever that it i can put my laptop up here and then underneath I can store like papers or iPad and stuff like that just extra bit of storage now another item I got was a towel now this is really random I got one singular large black towel it's very plain it's nothing exciting and this isn't even for in the house this is for in my car because I do dog walking now and I just need something to kind of drain off the moisture when I rinse the dogs off and they've got some sort of like cow poo on them or whatever so towel is called Salvican um, and again not sure how much it was but I will put the price on the screen for you now you cannot go to Ikea and not get the meatballs and we bought a pack of the meatballs which is obviously in the freezer and then we bought two packs of the sauce I did say to Sean should we just leave the meatballs and get some nice ones like not nice ones I just don't know how much the percentage of meat there is in the Ikea ones I don't think I want to look either and then we got an extra pack of sauce just in case we want to do our, like our own homemade meatballs one day so yeah you can't go wrong with these so we bought this little wooden bowl this was mostly for like decor i'm thinking about putting them on the kitchen shelves i want to try and sort out some sort of aesthetic going on up there um but yeah it will also be used for like salad for crisps it's quite like a generic color scheme that you can't really go wrong with i really like this color with white at the moment and we've recently had the tiles done in the kitchen it's all white so we're trying to stick with like the kind of wooden and the white theme so we've got that little bowl now another item i got for on my desk is a little coaster now this was one pound fifty it's just a typical cork coaster nothing crazy exciting about it but again 
it just goes with the colour scheme. I quite like that it's not like a glass or metal one that you have to clean all the time. I'm just worried actually that this might stain. That's my only thing because it is actual cork. Again, Pepper's sniffing that. But yeah, that's £1.50. So the next item I got was these three decor pieces. I've recently bought some artwork for the downstairs bathroom that I'm thinking this is going to help tie that whole space in a little bit better. I hate my downstairs toilet. It's so bare. I just can't decide what I want to do with it. I've been sitting on it for ages now. Not the toilet, the idea. But yeah, I'm thinking green and like, again, the kind of bamboo colour with the white. That's what I like. We've got like a black circular mirror in there as well. So yeah, it's a work in progress, but I'm hoping these are going to help tie that space in once I've got the artwork in there as well, which I'm really looking forward to doing. Now, the next item I got, I actually bought this for the bathroom, which is a big throw. Now, it's a really nice, like, minty kind of blue colour. The name is called Ingabrita. We've got, like, a mustard yellow one on our sofa at the moment, and it was completely accidental. We just bought that in the winter because we were freezing, and then ever since, it's just kind of been a throw that sat on the sofa. But that wasn't, like, a colour scheme we were ever going for. Or it's just kind of sat there. So I'm going to give this a go on the sofa to see if this looks any good. Hopefully it won't look too much with the grey sofa that we've got. I'm hoping it will just calm it down a little bit. Now the next item I got was a little lantern. Now, now this is called Borby. It's got a little door on the front that you can put a candle in. And I actually bought this with the idea of it being on like the outside table when we're out there at night time. Put like a big church candle in it just so we've got something to make it feel a bit more cosy out there. Again, the whole house is a work in progress guys. I'm learning as I go what works and what doesn't. I thought that was quite a nice little lantern. It was quite reasonably priced from memory as well. Nice little detail at the top there and I quite like that it's got like a little door for you to open and close it. Now the next two items I got was some church candles. Now one of them was for the lantern and again another one was for another lantern that I recently bought for our table that just goes under our TV in the living room. These are the name of Phenomen. They're a really big church candle, quite a decent size. They've got loads of different size church candles in Ikea and they're such reasonably priced. I feel like on Amazon you can get really ripped off for the prices that you can pay for like big church candles. So yeah, I always like to top up my candles at Ikea. I feel like they're quite cheap. And yeah, that sits perfectly in this little lantern if I just show you. You kind of have to angle it to put it in. So yeah, that's the idea behind that, for that to go on the garden at night. I'm hoping it looks nice. Okay, and the last but not least item, well, it's actually two items. Ikea are famous for these like draping plants. However, this one is like a eucalyptus kind of style, which I really, really love. And again, I bought the white pot that it goes in. So I'm gonna try and find somewhere really nice to dangle that. I might even put that on top of the kitchen unit so it like drags down over one of the doors. There's such a nice touch to an area and they do make it really, really homely. However, I do feel like every Tom, Dick and Harry in England has one of these or probably all over the world really because Ikea is everywhere. So yeah, I feel like these are probably one of the most famous plants you can buy. Quite like that they've ventured out into a eucalyptus style one rather than just the dark green. So yeah, really chuffed with that. Well, that is everything from the haul guys. I hope you've enjoyed coming to Ikea with us if you have stuck around to this far then thank you guys so much for watching you really are the best we're nearly at 3k which is incredible stay safe and I shall see you very very soon bye